Yeah, yeah, what up? This your man's T3 Slum Village right here with my man, man. Young God Jay, what up? We right here, and right now you're watching the Drama Queen. On Miss Drama TV. Yeah, keep it locked. Deuces. Deuces. The, I guess the new groups that are coming, Slaughterhouse. How do you feel about the Slaughterhouse? I like Slaughterhouse. I like Slaughterhouse. Dope. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, I mean, rest my man, rest my man. But, but, but those are older cats. They, they they old, just like me. They, we, about, we about the same age. It's like, where them young cats gonna come at like that? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's like, the young cats, they want it, but I don't know if they want the, the, the work behind it. You know what I'm saying? You know, I mean, and I think right now hip-hop is put all bunched together. It's not all the same. It's like you can't put Waka Faka and and Royce the Five Nine and, and expect you know it's not the same hip hop. Mm -hmm. Waka does dance hip hop. Mm -hmm. It should be a category called dance hip hop for dudes who just do dance. And I'm not mad at. Them. Are you a fan of dance hip hop? Are you a fan of the Gucci Mane's and Waka? I am Faka? a fan of of some of it. Okay. Not all, but I am a fan of some of it. And I came up dancing in my my old school days. I used to dance. Big Daddy K. Yeah, yeah. Big Daddy K. I'm just saying, but mm -hmm. I don't think you should put them all together. I think it's a place for Walker and it's a place for Slum Village. And when you try to put them on the same radio station, it don't make sense. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So you think they should be put in different the radio stations? The, 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 the solution is it should be like a more adult contemporary radio station that does hip hop. And then it should be a more kitty station. It's just like when you got listen to um, XM, you got the kitty station, right. and you got the old school station. So we don't have like, that for hip hop. Like now, rock. and you go old school hip hop, you got to go back to the nineties and eighties. No, you need like mature right. hip hop, just like they do rock with like Dwelle, Dwelle versus rock. Yeah. versus the Dream. You know what I'm saying? But they got their own stations. We don't have that with hip hop. Mm -hmm. yeah. You see what I'm saying? You got the adult station that plays soulful stuff like Dwelle and. Um, Kim. Kim and whoever else. You right. know what I'm saying? But at the same time, wouldn't it be great if we could mix them and educate those who are coming in, the youth that maybe should be taught about hip hop that has preceded them? Yeah, it, but it, it don't. they trying to mix it. They've been trying to mix it and right. it don't work. Okay. You know, it, it just doesn't work. In order to get played on radio, you got to conform to what the standards of radio is. And some of these hip hop guys, they ain't going to do that. So I don't think that's the solution. Is Putting them together, I agree. I think they should, you know, mm -hmm. a more for so segregation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it works. It works. You know what I'm saying? It's like when you take a group. When I go back to Dwelly again, he has a nice, strong fan base, mm -hmm. and it constantly builds because he don't have to go outside or over here because he know this is his lane, mm -hmm. and it constantly grows and grows and grows. Mm -hmm. right. You know what I'm saying? But you try to put him with, you know, somebody to dream, and and it ain't it ain't. Really the same, even though they both singing, it's not the same. I, I think people don't respect hip hop enough to, to give it a, its categories because we got categories. That's mm -hmm. that's all I'm saying. Okay. Now I have to ask this quick question. Um, I was watching the video faster, right? Yes. And I saw the okay. So at the end of it, it's like <laughs> well, at the beginning it says like episode one. Right. So it, is it leading into another episode? How is that all coming to out? Possibly. Out? We working on a, uh, on some new videos now, so it could possibly lead into something. Else. I mean, Faster is just a black soap opera video. Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> like, reminds me of like, you know, when, Ar well, not to that degree, but you know how R. Kelly did his whole, like, uh, <laughs> trapped in the closet. <laughs> well, thank God nobody was trapped in the closet. Right, 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 like right, right. Yeah, it, it got that feel, <laughs> trapped in the closet. You ain't the first person to say that, neither. But, I mean, yeah, it, it was just something different. You know, we were just trying something, something new. Yeah. Shout out to Mario. Mm -hmm. and, uh, Shay. Shay. Yep. Right, right. Yep. So, um, you know, I know we got to wrap it up, but at the same time, you know, I, I'm so curious as to what's next for, for Slum Village. I mean, I know this has been the, the theme of this interview, <laughs> right. you know, because it's right. so, it's nothing concrete at this point. But in, in your, you know, minds, minds of minds and, you know, in your hindsight, what do you hope in your heart for Slum Village right now? Uh, Dealing with the fact that, yes, you have lost two, you know, phenomenal people right, right, who right. have you know been iconic right 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 where do you go from now um different stuff what different ways to brand slum village mm -hmm. uh we got a slum village movie we've been working on for like years yeah. that we want to get out okay and, and and we got um 
you know, merchandise and different things we want to do. But it ain't gonna really be about the music, really more. It'll be more about the brand and and how to 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 get that legacy out, the Dilla, the Batan, and the whole slum mm -hmm. brand all together. And that's that's basically where it's gonna go from there. Okay. And if we do some more music, we do some more music, but. That's basically where where I see it going okay. right now. And then we doing solo stuff, so you know you'll see us around. We'll see we'll see how things go. So you would you are you are gonna do some like straight solo? Yeah, Elsa releases. doing solo. I'm doing solo. He got his his joint with a uh, vice verse. Okay. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we working. So is this um 2011? No, this is this year. This is this year. Yeah, All yeah. this is this year. Yeah, yeah, so you guys are pretty busy, basically. Yeah, we yeah. dropping EPs this year. Mm -hmm. And follow it up 2011 with the full of them. You know, just to warm the market up. Get everybody okay. used to hearing it. I'm going to break it down to the producers. Okay. We got Mr. Porter. Mm -hmm. We got High Tech. We got myself on Seven Joints. We got Jay Dilla. Mm -hmm. We got Crisis. We got Dave West. We got Quest Love on the drums on the song. Mm -hmm. You know, we got live stream sessions. We got everything you can think of. <laughs> Artist-wise, we got Lil Brother. We got mm -hmm. Dwelle. We got uh, Pasta Moose from Daylight Soul. We got Fight from a, car, a Tribe Called Quest. Mm -hmm. We got DJ Babu on the cuts. You know, it's action packed. What you think? Yeah, <laughs> I mean, it's like homegrown right there. That's that's like the best way to go. I mean, right, yeah. it's definitely um, a family affair, I feel, yeah, is, out of anything. So. Is. I think that, you know, at the end of the day, I think the response is going to be overwhelming. So I think you should just be prepared now to figure out what you're going to do. Get your game plan ready. But Okay, thanks for the pressure. It's all good. But at, at the same time, you know, you, you have to, you know, think realistically like right. okay what what is it that I want to do? Where where do I want to go in those sense? You yeah. talked a little bit about acting um would you be in the the movie movie roles uh, here and there? If I lost 60 pounds, yeah. I think I'm so I'm working out. You're gonna see that. That's gonna be next. Me and Young Jay, we're gonna blog uh, our weight loss. Yeah, we're gonna, gonna, we gonna, we gonna see who can lose this weight the fastest. It's a competition. You Are y'all gonna go to Celebrity Fit, Fit Club? No, or something? we're doing our own version. Okay, okay. This is the hood version of Celebrity Fit Club. So we just go, we're gonna blog each other each day and see who can lose the most weight. Which would probably be me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I got I got my trainer already. He like Rambo. Uh -huh. Chin ups, you know, street poles, all that. <laughs> you know, street poles. <laughs> Boy, oh boy, you, you two are very dangerous together. So uh, mm -hmm. on that note, thank you so much for sitting down with me. Thanks. Um, wish you guys the best. This is I know it's going to be phenomenal. You know, once it's out there, everybody gets to hear it and, and just realize how classic, you know, it is. I think right. that everybody's going to be with it. So. I wish you the best Thank you. That. I Thank appreciate you. the interview. Yeah, what up? This is T3 of Slum Village with my wingman right here. What up? Young Jay. What? You didn't say your name, yeah, you, said, you said my name for me. No, I didn't. That's with my wingman right here. Yeah, right, come on say. with it. All right, all right. Ahead, we here, we here. <laughs> yeah, what up? This is T3, Slum Village, right here with my main man right here. Young God Jay, what up? And right now, y'all watching the drama queen <laughs> and the telephone. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, this drop will not let Ms. me be drama great. TV, right? Yeah, Miss Drama TV. <laughs> I'm gonna turn my phone already off. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, what up? This your man's T3 Slum Village right here with my man, man. Young God Jay, what up? We right here, and right now you're watching the Drama Queen on Miss Drama TV. Yeah, keep it locked. Deuces. Deuces. Feeling like I'm whipping in a Porsche, girl. You all up in my thoughts. It's important we enforce love that, love that, that love. So much that we should back up. You never feel it till it happens, then it happens. Then she add to your life. It's like 